Hi, what's up? Archie here. Welcome to Boring Tech Hacks. Today, I'll be showing you what to do when the RJ45 plug doesn't match the cable. You can see here, I tried to replace a broken RJ45 plug, but it did not work. This cable is labeled as CAT7. Okay, just pause for a moment before you type in your angry comments. Yes, I know that most CAT7 cables are fake. Because although CAT7 can use RJ45 plugs, it should actually use a different type of plug to run at CAT7 speeds. Most CAT7 cables you see online are either just CAT6 or CAT6A cables. I bought this cable and the RJ45 plugs a long time ago before I knew about this. For those who don't know the difference between cable types, you can click the link here or down in the video description to find out more about cable types. So, I had to replace a broken plug during the time of lockdown, when almost all the shops are closed. So, I cannot just buy a replacement cable or a proper RJ45 plug. Ordering online usually takes more than a week, but because of the lockdown, it takes so much more than that. I needed a quick fix because I was working from home and I really, really needed internet. The fix that I did is what I'll be showing you next. This is not a tutorial on crimping for beginners. You may want to watch this video right here where he shows you how to do it step by step. You can also see the link in the video description. Now, back to the video. This cable is labeled CAT7. This plug here is also labeled as CAT7. But, after connecting the plug, it doesn't work. Because, either the cable is too thin or the plug openings are too wide so they don't align properly. So now what I'll do is put adhesive tape around the individual wires to make them thick enough so they fit snugly into the plug. You can see here, the orange plug is loose so when I crimp the cable, the contacts will not penetrate into the center of the wire. Now you can see the wire with adhesive tape around it, it fits snugly. I'll do the same for the rest of the cables. Now, put the wires into the spacing bar. Then trim off the excess. Mm -hmm. 
Then, I'll now insert it into the plug. I may have made it too tight, it won't slide in. Okay, now crimp the cable. Now let's plug it in. Then check to see if the cable works. Okay, so you can see here it's only at 100 Mbps, but it's supposed to be 1 Gbps. That means something may not be aligned properly. Let's do a speed test. You can see it's only at 54 down and 45 up. I have a 1 Gbps internet so it should be much more than that. So now what I'll try to do is cut off the plug and then repeat the process. Okay, now let's try again. Alright, now we can see that it's 1 Gbps. Let's do a speed test. Okay, now we're getting more than 100 Mbps. I'm using VPN, so I'm not reaching close to 1 Gbps speeds. This is the typical speed of the server that I usually use. But it's more than 100 Mbps, so I know that it's working correctly. So this is more of a temporary fix. I suggest you still buy a proper plug for your wires to avoid connectivity issues. I already ordered online a new CAT 6A plug. It is also open-ended. That way, I can pull the wire so that the end of the outer coating sits closer to the end. This type is also easier to use. That's it. Hit like if you like this video and don't forget to subscribe. Bye!